Hello and welcome back to The Daily Brew, the devotional where normally we drink a new brew and every day we see what God is brewing for us in the Bible. Yes, it's cheesy, but it's true. We are here, day 321, 3, 2, 1. It really does feel like the countdown is on to finish this Bible plan. Very, very exciting. But as you know, no brew today. We're going to get straight into our Bible passages. Today we're reading from Psalm 127, verses 1 to 5. James 1, 1 to 27. So we're starting a brand new book. And we're looking at Ezekiel chapter 32 and 33 all the way to verse 20. Now remember these are Harry's notes, I'm going to read them as though I'm Harry. As I get older, I begin to become more self-dependent than trusting in God. That's not what our faith in Christ is supposed to bring. We're supposed to trust in the Lord and live with peace and with sleep, interestingly. Our psalm tells us today that unless the Lord himself builds the house, the builders labour in vain. The house is both reference to the church, but also the individuals that make up the church. We are all temples of the Holy Spirit, and unless we have God involved in building our lives, we labor in vain. I don't want to be someone who gets so easily caught up in my own plans for my life, my family, my work, and so on, that I end up laboring in vain because I didn't bring God on the journey with me. It's astounding that God actually wants to be involved in every area of our lives. Isn't it encouraging? that we never actually do our lives alone if we're separate, uh, unless we're separate from God. Sorry, let me say that again because I think that that was actually wrong. Isn't it encouraging that we never need to actually do our lives alone separate from God? In everything, trust in the Lord and watch as your life flourishes. All right, it's time for a new book. As we mentioned earlier, we're getting into the book of James, which is awesome. So the author of this book is James, the brother of Jesus. And the book was written around AD 45, they think. James was martyred in around AD 62. So it had to definitely be before then. But here we see a book written to the 12 tribes scattered among the nations, which means it's primarily to a Jewish audience. It's a practical letter dealing with Christian ethics, how to maintain a lifestyle of deeds that matches a confession of faith. Basically, how to walk the talk, which I think is so important for all of us Christians who are trying to live out this faith today. And in Ezekiel, we're encouraged to turn from our wicked ways. The word turn or turns actually appears in chapter 33 seven times, stressing the importance of actually living a life that is turned away both from wickedness and towards the Lord. Ezekiel was tasked with giving this message to God's people to repent and to turn from their wicked ways. Look, it's the same message for us today to repent and turn from our wickedness so we can return to being in relationship with God. The message is simple and the implications are large. Most important thing we can do is turn away from our sin and towards the kingdom of God through the repentance of our sins and the recognition of Jesus as our Lord and Savior through the death and resurrection. God's heart is that everyone would repent and turn from their sins, embracing the life that he has for them. It's time to turn away from sin so that that easily holds you back and towards the king who gives us life. Three, two, it's time for verse of the day, James 1 verse 4. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. So first we face trials. It's a testing of our faith. We develop perseverance. And then we become mature and complete, lacking nothing. So easy to despise the trial so that we never actually become mature and complete. And so we'd stay lacking many things. We need to embrace the testing and trials. We need to persevere so that we can enter into that maturity he has for us. How good will it be to say, one day, I lack nothing. Alrighty. That's it today for The Daily Brew. Thank you so much for having me. I pray that you are blessed by this scripture. It's short and sweet with no brew. It's short and sweet when I'm just reading Harry's notes and I've got nothing really to add because, you know, I've just, it's all here. When Harry gets back, you're going to be prepared for some long devotionals. But here we are. If it is the end of your day, have a great sleep. If it's the start of your day, be blessed. Either way, we'll see you here tomorrow.